What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, playing some more Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're hopping back onto that ranked double letter, but this time using an Alolan Raichu team. But not just any Alolan Raichu team, a Surge Surfer Alolan Raichu team. What that allows us to do is double its speed in Electric Terrain, and we also have a Pokemon called Thunderous with Prankster and Electric Terrain for its move to set that terrain. This team has a bunch of synergy. Like I said, you can pair up Alolan Raichu with Thunderous, but you can also pair up Thunderous' terrain with Iron Bundle for the Quirk Drive boost and Sneasel with Unburdened and Electric Seeds. Should be a fun one. Should be able to grab ourselves with a record with this team and absolutely kill it. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, I will wait. I will sit here. I will wait a moment. You guys now have time to go click that subscribe button without missing any of the content. Cool. Now that we're up to, up to speed, we can continue on with this video. But a uh, huge shout out to the team creator, Poke Sports, and their community made this team. Huge shout out to them. If you guys want the Poke Pace, if you guys want to see this team more in depth, make sure you head over to their channel. I will be linking it down in the description below. But uh, first Pokemon for today's team preview is going to be Alolan Raichu. Such a cool Pokemon with the Psychic and Electric type. It's got the Surge Surfer as the ability, like we already mentioned, and it's got the Safety Goggles as its item. It's got Electro Ball for Stab, Psychic for Stab, Nasty Pot to set up that plus two special attack boost, and Protect for its fourth and final move. And the second slot is going to be that Thunders. The Prankster Thunders is a great support Pokemon for this team, really pairs up with most of the Pokemon. It's got Cobra Cloak as its item, with Wild Bolt Storm, Electric Terrain to set that terrain, Scary Face for a bit more speed control, and Thunder Wave for Paralyzes. And our third slot is going to be Chiyu. Can't really go along with Chiyu, especially when you have Iron Bundle on the team. It's got Beads of Ruin alongside with the Heavy Duty Boots, Heat Wave, Dark Pulse, Terra Blast, and Protect. In our fourth slot, it's going to be Iron Bundle, and this Pokemon hits like an absolute truck, especially in the Electric Terrain to give it a special attack boost. It's got the uh, Choice Specs as its item with Hydra Pump, Freeze Dry, Icy Wind, and Flip Turn. In our fifth slot, we got Great Tusk. Great Tusk has the weakness policy alongside Protosynthesis, so if we want to go into Iron Bundle and Great Tusk, we could definitely do that. Flip Turn into the Great Tusk, proc that weakness policy, and do some big time damage. Great Tusk has Close Combat, Headlong Rush, Rock Slide, and Protect. In our final slot, we got Sneasler. And Sneasler is actually really, really good in Regulation D. Once you set up its unburden with whatever seed you're using, it really thrives out and gets some work done. It's got Dire Claw, Close Combat, Acrobatics, and Protect with its moves. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Alolan Raichu Regulation D team. First match is on its way, and it is cool to see a little bit of off meta action going on here. Going up against Galarian Slowbro and Alolan Muck, the colorful little goopy Pokemon. They also have Gudra, they got Spectre, and then they're rocking out with uh, Thunderous, just like us, and then Storm Drain Gash Time, which I really don't see them bringing. I'm going to go Thunderous here for the lead in nice, lovely match number one, and I think I'm going to lead it with Sneasler. So I can pop the terrain, get that unburdened cooking, and kind of get after the match that way, which I really really like so yeah i think that's gonna be my play and then on top of that i'm gonna bring in the electric terrain boys raichu and iron bundle and they really thrive in electric terrain so if i'm gonna set it i might as well bring in pokemon to kind of get after it considering they have no other pokemon to change the terrain so terrain control is gonna be ours all day so i'm digging it. i'm definitely liking it so we're gonna lock it in we're gonna lock it down we're gonna look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one but yeah alone muck i don't really know too much about alone because you don't see it too much so i don't really know too much about it so i'm kind of scared of it I'm scared of what it could do, right? It probably has like some weird combo, I couldn't tell you. But I guess we'll see, I'm kinda hoping they bring it because it's just such a cool Pokemon. Plus it looks dope, like I'm pretty sure when it's out on the field, it's like colors are just like flowing through itself, like on like a loop. It just looks tough, it really does. But I'm curious, let's see it. Oh, assuming did you I always like looking at people's profile cards. Mine's always plain. That's how you guys know it's me, jeans. It's just plain. <laughs> but uh I always like looking at people's profiles because they always make cool ones. But Gudra and Thunder are gonna come out here turn one and um that's fine. I mean I can set the terrain no problem. And then just go here in close combat. Do I need a flying terror? No, I don't think I do. I think we just go straight close combat into Gudra slot. So Gudra could protect, but I would think it might be like trying to set up a shelter, so I'm gonna get after it right here right now so i set up the electric train and i popped a lovely defensive boost on the sneezer side and we'll start ripping we shall start ripping i love sneezer i really do you pair it with seeds like this it just gets some work done the speed goes to the roof gets a nice little defense boost and close combat's gonna fly here and just taking out the tank yo sneezer my dog 
Hot start for the battle. He gooeys me too. Hot start for Jeans. Taking out a Gujar in one shot, you don't see that too often. We love it. We absolutely adore it. Wild Bolt Storm comes out here and Sneasler's dodging. Sneasler's dodging. I kind of want Thunderous to go down here just so I can bring out Raichu. Because that's really all that Thunderous is here. It's got to get its value out. Once it gets that terrain out there, it's chilling. And there is the Lola Muck. And like I said, it looks like it's on loop. Its colors are just flowing through it. So from here, you know what? I'm just going to paralyze the Muck. It's my best bet. Poison and Dark Typing. I'm just going to Thunder Wave that. And I'm just going to Dire Claw into the Thunderous here. The Thunder Wave is going to come out here. And did he dodge that? Oh, he's Dark Type. Oh, my lord. I legit just read it's typing. I legit just read it's typing. That's hilarious. But while Bolt Storm comes out here, going to take out the Thunderous. Do some big damage on the Sneasler. And Sneasler's going to die out here. And of course, you get going to Paralyze. Nice lovely little Paralyze. So Sneasler's going to die out here to Muck. Unless Muck's like... Planning something crazy. No, I was just going for Zen Headbutt. That's fine. That's totally fine. Because now I get to bring out two very strong Pokemon in three turns of terrain. I dig it. I get down with it. So down with it. So I get to bring out you. And I get to bring out you. So I still have my Terra, and I'm thinking of just Terrasalizing. Uh, what's called at this point, right? I think I have to Terrasalize uh, the bundle. Should I throw him mean freeze drives? Because if I Terrasalize the Bundle, he is just going to do an absurd amount of damage. He got the special attack boost from the Quirk Drive. He's got stab damage. He's going to get Terra boost if I Terrasalize him. And on top of that, he has the Choice Specs boost. So it's really, really strong. So from here, I'm just going to go Electro Ball to take out the Thundo. Actually, Psychic would be a better bet. So I'm going to go Psychic and on top of that, Terrasalize into the Freeze Dry. Into the Muck. Into the Muck. The Muck Muck. And you can actually make this... This Iron Bundle do more damage than it's going to already do by setting him up with Chiyu. So you get Electric Train out, you get Chiyu out there, you Terrasalize him like this. You can do some big time damage. We could choice into an Icy Wind if I wanted to, because Icy Wind would still do an insane amount of damage, which is really, really cool. But, uh, nah, Freeze Dry is where it's at. Freeze Dry is coming up big. They pick up the KO onto the Thunder, that's big time. Power up Alchemy. This thing is Prankster now. That is sick. That is really cool. Freeze Dry is going to pop over here. Should be able to do some big time damage here. And it's going to chunk up the Muck. Chunk him up, no problem. He's going to Drain Punch me, which we're able to soak. So we're able to soak that. We got some speed cooking here. It's going to get back some HP, which kind of sucks, right? We got to see who their final Pokemon is, because this could be a real close battle. Black Sludge. So he's going to get some HP back from Black Sludge. Um, Gastron's going to come out here, and I am I'm fully okay with that. I was not expecting to bring out Gaston. But from here, I you know what? I'm just gonna go into an Electro Ball. Just do some damage on the Muck. The faster user is to target. Yeah, Muck's kinda slow. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm just gonna freeze dry Gastro. That's gonna be my play. We're just going to freeze dry Gastro, who he is going to Terrasalize. Maybe I should have taken out the Muck, but uh I think Electro Ball can actually take him out. Because our speed is just so much faster than that. So we Terrasalize it in the grass, we're still gonna be able to KO it. Bad terror type. I apologize. <laughs> I apologize. It's a bad terror type when Iron Bundle's on the field. So Electro Ball's gonna come out here. Does this KO? It does. Cool. That's gonna be the match. That is gonna be the match. So match number one, the Electric Terrain Squad coming in clutch. Sneasler dropping Gudra in one shot to get things started here. And then we clean up the match with the back and both one. Alolan Raichu and Iron Bundle. It's no problem. It's cake for them. It's a cake walk for them. So 1 0 to get things started. Let's hop into a second match. Let's go back to back for you guys. Match number two is on its way. We got things started off hot there with a nice little electric terrain W, but we're going up against a tougher team. They also have Sneasler just like us. They have Indeedy, a way to control terrain. And then they also have Heatran, Urshifu, Amoongus, and Reggie Draco. So this one's definitely going to be a bit tougher. But how should I lead this one and who should I go into? I could still lead Thunders and maybe set that terrain for future play. Or I could go into like... Hmm, could go... Bundle and Thunders, which wouldn't be bad with Chiyu in the back end, because I do like Chiyu, especially with its moveset, right? It's got the Water Terra as well. It's going to be really good up against a few different Pokemon. I like that. I like Chiyu here. And then in the final slot, we could just go Great Tusk. Could definitely go Great Tusk. We might not even need Terrain. We might just want to use this thing for Speed Control, which could be pretty good. But you know what? Honestly, I said we just don't go into them, and we lead these two. With Tusk in the back end, and last but not least... Maybe we should go Sneasel on its own. Maybe, potentially. 
I think uh, Sneasel on its own could be good. Or we can just go Raichu on its own, but I think we need Terrain more so than anything. So, you know, I'm, I'm just going to bring Thunderous, but more as a back-end Pokemon. I like it. I can get down. I can get Boogie in with it. That's fine. That's fine. We had, we had like, 10 seconds left on the clock. I had to pick something. And I really don't want to use uh, Raichu without Terrain not getting its full value. And same thing with Sneasler. I mean, I could have used Sneasler, but it really gets its value off of its, it being able to outspeed with the Terrain. But they end up just going in the Reggie Draco, and... And this is actually perfectly fine by me. Because I'm actually going to Terrastalize uh, Iron Bundle. And I'm going to pop Icy Wind. I'm going to choice to an Icy Wind. Because this thing can do insane amount of damage. Like, you guys are probably thinking, like, yo, Icy Wind's probably not doing that much damage. Why would you choice into it? Hear me out. It's 55 base power plus stab plus Terra. That's going to boost it to 110. On top of that, it's going to be a choice smack and next to Chiyu. This damage is insane. And it's... No, it's not Quirk Giant. I was going to say, and it's Quirk Giant, but it's not. But from here, I'm just going to do that, and I'm just going to drop a Dark Pulse into the Indeedee slot. I'm actually cool with that. So if he goes for Follow Me, he goes for Follow Me. It's not that big of a deal. And we're going to try to get after it. We're just hoping that Reggie Draco is not terrestrializing. Because I know how bulky that thing is. Thing probably has, like, close to 300 HP, 279, 280 around. Like, it's just so bulky for no reason. It really is. Reggie Draco just protects. That's fine by me. That's cool with me. I'm cool with that. So Icy Wind's going to come out here. We are going to be able to get rid of Indeedee this turn, which is pretty big. Because by getting rid of Indeedee, I can set terrain later. And kind of just have it if need be. But look how much damage Icy Wind just did to Indeedee. Like, it's an absurd amount of damage. Dark Pulse is also going to fly. It's just going to drop Indeedee. So cool. That Pokemon's a goner. That Pokemon is gone. The only problem is going to be is going to be Heatran. Heatran's going to be a little bit of an issue. He brings out Sneasel instead, so he can fake me out. So now he can fake me out. Um, actually, you can't fake me out. The terrain's here. It's actually big for us. So Sneasel gets that special defense boost. Um, I still feel as we should be fine. Actually, I don't know. Hmm. Because now he can probably just close combat me, correct? Yeah, he's going to close combat at me. So, you know what? I'm just going to go into Thundo here. I'm going to save my bundle for later. And on top of that, I think I'm just going to drop a Heat Wave. Or I could just Dark Pulse to Reggie Draco. I'd rather do some damage maybe over to Reggie Draco. And then maybe just Scary Face next turn. We'll see. But, yeah. Sneasler's going to be able to outspeed my bundle here. Which is tough. So, I need to slow it down. I need, I need, to, I need, to, I need to tell that Pokemon to knock it off a little bit. I'm going to swap into Thundo. Actually, I can't even scary face it. I would have to change terrain first. Which is kind of absurd. Which is kind of absurd. So it terrestrializes into straight fire. Into straight fire. Good thing we're just dark pulsing that slot. The scene is going to go for the close combat. We've had that all day. We're able to eat that. And that defense is dropped. They so maybe should have went into a heat wave there. Dark Pulse now flies, doing some crazy damage on the Reggie Draco. That was a big time play. Critical hit, we'll take that all day. We'll take that all day. We get rid of Reggie Draco. And Sneasler is just a problem, right? Sneasler is just an issue. Um, I could set the terrain, and I think I might set the terrain. Do I set the terrain? I think I have to set the terrain. I can't really do much without it, so I'm going to set the terrain here. Just to get Quirk Drive boosted later, and... From here, we're just going to go for Heat Wave. We're just going to wave across the board. So, Amoogus just protects. I am changing terrain. I think he's going to close combat down my Chiyu. Which is fine. I mean, I get rid of this terrain, and then I can start scary facing the Sneasler. And I can bring out, uh, what's it called? And I can bring out, uh... Oh, no, you're actually just going to KO. Oh, you do not KO me. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. That pretty much wraps it up. From here. Because my only, my only issue was Sneasler. Sneasler was the only problem. So from here, now I can just scary face it. And I can go into a heat wave. And say heat wave doesn't KO, now my iron bundle outspeeds. And I can choice into icy when you KO both these purple shot. No problem. So cool. Match number two, go and do your boy. Dude, I've been killing it. I've been killing it in the video show. If you guys watching this far, leave a like on today's video. Leave some comments. I read every single comment. I know I don't comment back to everybody. But I read every single comment. So I love seeing your guys' comments. I definitely should try to uh, comment back. 
a little bit more. I've just been so busy. I honestly have. I'm super, super busy, guys. But I love you guys' comments. Make sure you guys leave a comment in the comment section down below. Love reading them. I'll, I'll comment back to you guys. I promise. I promise. But uh, Sneeze is going to protect here. And Heat Wave, can you just hit a Moogus and just take it out for me? Give me a favor. Thank you very much. That should KO it. It does not KO it. Leaving it on one. And this thing's buried up. Now we got a problem. Now we got a little bit of an issue. Now we got a little bit of an issue. Spores can come out here. But yo, guess what? I got that Psychic Terrain out here. Or not Psychic Terrain. I got that last stream, which he was not expecting. Actually, no, we said it last turn. Yeah, he just made a misplay. That's fine. The Wild Bolt Storm gonna come out here. Did I scare your face, uh, Sneasler, yet? I did not. I got scary face right now. I'll scare your face just in case, and we'll go into another heat wave. So, battle was canceled. We're killing it. 2 0. Final match is here, and we're 2 0. Already guaranteed ourselves a winning record. You guys gotta love it. Going up against a Galeri Moltres team and Hisui and Arcanine, who look so cool in match number three. And we're going up against another Gastron. Like, I already ripped into Gastron. Hopefully, they don't bring it. Hopefully, the the, the last person spread the news that Jeans is ripping up on Gastrodon today. But uh, who should I lead? Do I go with Terrain again? Probably, right? They have no way of setting Terrain. I'm going to rock out with it. And that's what today's video is about. Setting that Terrain and using these Life Strain Pokemon. So, I think Sneezer's going to be a great lead alongside with Thunders. I really do like that. I could lead it with Raichu. But I like Raichu more as a back-end Pokemon when it comes to this terrain. So, I'm going to go in with the same squad that we did in match number one. I feel like you can really thrive, especially, like, after these Pokemon die out in the front lines. Like, the back-end Pokemon in the terrain are so good. You got Raichu to outspeed everything, clean up a bunch of messes, and then you got Iron Bundle to do an immense amount of damage. Whether it be Icy Winds like we used in last match, Hydro Pump can do a crazy amount of damage, but uh, Freeze Dry does a boatload of damage especially when you're terrestrialized you get that double damage you get that choice spec you get cork drive like everything is just everything's just boosting up with this thing everything is just boosting up but i, I think they're gonna lead grimstar grimstar is definitely uh, a great lead here set the set the screens yeah that's gonna that's that's the only thing that's gonna make this matchup tough it's going to be grimstar setting screens and if they don't lead it that's a big mistake but i definitely see them leading it seems like an easy lead and I remember when I like actually took like competitive like very seriously in Sword and Shield when I first started playing. Like obviously I don't take it as seriously now. Like I don't really push ranks. I kind of just hop on here, and record for you guys, because this that's what I enjoy doing: recording, and making videos for you guys, and still playing at a decently high level. But when I used to uh, take it seriously in Sword and Shield, I would lead Grimstar every single match, and it was phenomenal. It was phenomenal. Grimstar every single match. You just couldn't go wrong with it. You just couldn't go wrong with it. But uh, they they do end up leading Grimstar and. I'm gonna set the terrain. Terrain is gonna come out here, and I don't think Terrasalize is gonna be your call. I think we just get rid of Grimstrong here. We let it set up its its reflect, and then we we try not to let it get light screen off. We'll see. We'll see. But Golden Go has a opportunity just to Terrasalize and go into a a what's it called? Look at his derpy face. Makes me want to punch it. <laughs> but it has a chance to go into a Terrasalize and make it rain here. But it's derpy face just makes you want to... Mmm. Hand him one of these. And one of these. In the one-two Mayweather, you know? We'll see. We're going to E-Terrain up. We all set that set that level of terrain onto the field. And I love how cool it looks in this game. Just nice and misty. Just a subtle touch. And we're going to Electro Seeds to boost our lovely defense here. Their defense is boosted. Is Grimstar setting up a screen? Reflect. Come on, man. Leave me alone. Hopefully, I can get a crit and just KO this thing. Be big time. Dire Claw coming out here. Nah, sadly. Now you can get off light screen, no problem. You're gonna trick me? What are you handing me? The choice? Are you choicing me? That's totally fine. You thought I was going for a fake out? Not happening. Now you just choice spec me. I don't mind using Dire Claw again. So from here, I'm gonna just start throwing some powers around town, right? I'm just gonna start. Throwing some paras around town, correct? I just want to see something on the train. A Pokemon can't fall asleep. I was gonna say, can I not paralyze my own Pokemon? Yeah, I'm gonna just start paralyzing Pokemon. Do that. I'm gonna Dire Claw the uh, the Grim Snarl, and that's the one move I would like to be choice into. Would be Dire Claw. It's just so good at stab. It can put up status conditions. It's great all around. So chances are he probably sets up a light train. If he does not set up a light train, we are set up for late game. Which is really, really good. And we go for a Thunder Wave in this thing. Oh my god. Jeans, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? 
Come on, man. What are you doing? So much better than that. Gotta stay hydrated, but you're so much better than that. Good as gold, really? Come on, man. We'll put that in the past. He's gonna go into gas, though. Hopefully, we can put this thing to sleep or something. It'd be awesome. Did we get a random stash condition? I never get it. I never get the random stash conditions, and it really annoys me. And now he's gonna trick me, and he's gonna hand. He's just gonna take my item. Are you taking my choice specs back? Just gonna take my Cobra Cloak. That's fine. That is fine. So from here, I'm gonna paralyze. Actually, I can't paralyze. Mm. I think I might just hard swap you into, say, the bundle. I want him to just take me out, kind of, right? Pretty cool. It's gonna wild bolt storm. I'm just gonna do that, and I'm choosing dire claw. And I think I just snap, swap sneezler. Have sneezler for later. Ah, can you just take out my thunder? Can you just get rid of my thunder? I want to think that I want to bring up my iron bundle right now. Wobble with Storm's gonna come out here. It's gonna land onto you and do like five damage. Can we get a para? We do not. Make it rain, it's gonna fly. That's probably gonna take on my Raichu. Actually, no, we soak like crazy. I might just swap my Thunder. Ice Beam, can that KO? Can you just KO this thing? Come on, somebody take it out. How many turns left in terrain? That's the real question. Two. Oh my lord. <laughs> We're not gonna have terrain for long. So we'll go into another Wobble Storm, and from here, I'll start psychicking down the Gastro. <laughs> this is just absurd. <laughs> this is absurd. The screen, uh, light screen's not here, but reflect is. So we're doing some nice damage there. Wobble Storm, we're gonna come here. Can we land it onto the, the gold to go? I knew we wouldn't. Okay, so we're dead here. Another Make It Rain coming out here. Oh, he's gonna Shadow Bomb. So he's gonna pick up the double KO. That's fine. We have one more turn left in terrain, which I don't mind. I think I choice into the freeze dry is my best bet. And we get after it. That's fine. Our opponent played really good there. Just slowing everything down. And wasting out terrain turns, which is big. I really want to get the terrain out and then get my back end Pokemon in here. Which just did not work out in my favor. I'm going to go into bundle. I am going to go into... The Sneezler, and from here, I can definitely see a Terra coming out here from Gastro. Sneezler's here to play. So I'm cho I'm choosing into Sneezler. Like, Sneezler, we're choosing into a move here. And I think we choice into close combat more so than anything. And I choice into Freeze right here. I still think freeze dry can do a big chunk of damage. I'm gonna throw slice in a freeze dry. And I'm gonna close combat and try to try to do some damage on this thing. But he ends up withdrawing, that's fine. He's gonna go into here. So I'm choosing to freeze dry. I'm gonna go into Arcanine. So Arcanine, yeah, gonna be able to soak pretty well. He's gonna intimidate me too. But yeah, the screens are definitely doing me dirty. That's gonna be match, right? It is going to be match. Pretty much. But we're not getting swept here. We're not allowed to get swept. We have to pick up. We have to pick up some cans, which I can pick up a can right now. I'll go into Gastro next turn, but a protect from the Gastro is a little bit of an issue. Let's see how much damage we're gonna do. He's actually protects this turn, which is fine by me. I can get rid of Gastro next turn. I'm gonna freeze right here. How much damage are we doing into this Arcanine slot? Okay, not not too shabby. Close combat gets blocked. So I'm going to switch the close combat into the Arcanine slot, and I'm just going to go for a free strike into the Gastro slot. Try to get rid of it, because I i can't get swept here. I cannot get swept. Here goes my Quirk Drive. We're choice into this, and our opponent just plays this one super, super well. Super, super well. Screen's doing me dirty, and he's going to withdraw Arcanine. Wow, are you going back into... You going back into gold to go? I think they're, they're just doing too much. Yeah, wow, smart play. Free Shy's gonna come out here. We're not getting swept. We actually, they might be giving us a shot here. And I would not be surprised to see my boy clutch this up. Actually, no, he dies out once a Make It Rain happens. So we get rid of Gas, though. They're saying there's a chance. He's gonna bring out uh, Intimidate again. That is fine. 
We're gonna go after. We're gonna go after the golden go, but I don't think we can take it out. I do not think we can take it out. We're still gonna do it. We're still gonna go after it. We're gonna do that. We're gonna go for close combat. We are minus two, but maybe just maybe we get some crits. Imagine a double crit, double KO. <laughs> we just take this match. <laughs> That'd be ridiculous. That'd be like RNG to the max. That'd be awesome though. I guess for E-Speed, we should be able to soak. We do indeed. Freeze Dry is going to fly here. Give me a crit here. If I get rid of Gold and go here, we would have a shot. But I don't think we can. Yeah, no. We don't even have Quartz Drive boosted. The close combat comes out here. Can't even KO the Arcanine. And Make It Rain should, should finish this one up, right? He's back to normal special attack stats. And yeah, there's Make It Rain. That's taking me out all day. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2-1 for today's video. Decently okay third match, but match number one and two carry this video. We killed it. Love a nice little winning record. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Another winning record onto the channel. Absolutely love this scene. A little bit of off meta ish with the Raichu and the Sneasler. The Lex Train, you don't get really get to see that too much, but had a ton of fun with it. And again, grabbed you guys' winning record and killed it in the at least the first two matches. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a like on it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.